The TPM900 series is designed and built with a robust airframe, a dependable engine, and a leading edge avionics suite. Each evolution of the TPM is preceded by an enormous amount of design, testing, and fabrication long before certification and delivery. Decades of design efforts and intelligent manufacturing can immediately be lost if one fails to properly set and lock the seat position and or improperly secure the safety belt and shoulder harness. System safety should be perceived as a single thread extending from our efforts here at the factory into the airframe, through the seat tracks and seats, and into the safety belt and shoulder harness. Since production of the TPM 700C began, the pilot and forward passenger seats have been equipped with a four-point restraint system. The longest flow checks performed by a pilot are within the pre-flight inspection. Let's revisit a few fundamental yet often neglected tasks within the internal inspection, which include setting the seat position, positioning the rudder pedals, and setting the safety belt and shoulder harness. Setting the proper seat distance provides a position from which a pilot can comfortably manipulate the flight controls. Setting the appropriate seat height maximizes the visual field for both inside and outside the cockpit. Sitting too low provides an excellent view of the instrument panel. Unfortunately, sitting too low begins to compromise the external field of view. If one sits too high, portions of the instrument panel are obscured and significant sections of the external field of view are blocked. Set a more consistent seat height by establishing a line of sight reference between the glare shield and the forward engine cowling. Sitting below this reference line begins to limit the external field of view. Per the POH, raise the seat to the maximum height, then slide aft until reaching the desired distance from the control wheel and instrument panel. Lock the seat into the seat track, then lower the seat down to the line of sight reference. Next, set the rudder pedals to a position which enables full rudder deflection and access to the toe brakes when the rudder is extended. Take care not to sit too close to the instrument panel and pedals that one's body obstructs the control wheel when applying ailerons and or rudder. This precaution later supports a follow-up check that the flight controls are free and correct. With the seat position set, remove any twists in the straps of the safety belt, also referred to as the seat belt or lap belt. Fasten the buckle. According to FAA documentation, a safety belt should be positioned so that it makes an angle of about 55 degrees with the longitudinal axis of the airplane. Remove all slack to cinch the belt to create a snug fit across the hips. Take care not to allow bulky clothing to provide a false sense of a snug fit. One can continue to wear clothing such as a jacket, but take a moment to remove loose clothing from underneath the safety belt. With the safety belt fastened snug and the buckle centered, attach the shoulder harnesses. Remove any twists in the straps and fasten the anchor tabs on the appropriate top side of the buckle. Keep the buckle centered when removing slack on the left and right straps. Once the safety belt and shoulder harness are fastened, check for freedom of movement. Rapid torso motion should be stopped by the inertia reel. This is important. Take care not to create so much tension with the shoulder harness straps that the safety belt is raised towards the sternum, increasing the angle of the safety belt. Keeping the safety belt low and tight across the hips mitigates the chance of submarining under the lap belt during a deceleration. Words of caution. Never allow the shoulder harness to be worn below the arm or behind the back. When securing loose objects in preparation for flight, include the fastening of seat belts on unoccupied seats. Before you release that shoulder harness or loosen that safety belt, remember that turbulence is the leading cause of in-flight injuries to passengers and crew. Pressing only the top tab of the buckle will release the shoulder harness without disconnecting the safety belt.
Turning the face of the buckle will completely release both the shoulder harness and safety belt. The pilot and forward passenger seats may be fitted with shoulder harnesses, which are equipped with airbags. These airbag systems are designed to enhance the complete system safety provided by the seat, safety belt, and shoulder harness. When a TBM shoulder harness is equipped with airbags, it is required that the safety belt and shoulder harnesses are fastened if the seat is unoccupied. Four-point safety belt and shoulder harness systems are not designed to secure child seats. Child seats are normally designed to be secured by three-point systems, thus they shall be kept in the TBM cabin. Make sure to comply with the Code of Federal Regulations. Part 91105 states that during takeoff and landing, and while en route, the pilot shall be at the crew member station and keep the safety belt fastened. Furthermore, the shoulder harness shall be fastened during takeoff and landing. Part 91107 refers to passengers. The pilot in command of the aircraft must ensure that each person on board is briefed on how to fasten and unfasten that person's safety belt and shoulder harness. Last, the pilot in command must also ensure that each person on board has been notified to fasten his or her safety belt and shoulder harness. Not only are the crew and passenger safety enhanced when the seat, safety belt, and shoulder harness are set properly, the pilot's visual field is also optimized. Pilots will find greater consistency with landings by routinely using the same seat position.